uh, there was a lot of. Uh, we ever put out in that in with any of the, with any of those cockfights? Or I, I hate to use it as a cockfight, bro. That's fucking. Ridiculous. I mean, that's what it was called. You know, that's what. Yeah. Essentially, okay. uh, you know, uh, that's what it was. Yeah. Um, yeah, a couple of times, uh, uh, they, um, I had to go out there uh, and 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 uh, and fight. You know, uh, because I had I had enemies and and they would purposefully uh, the COs uh, purposefully uh, open uh, rivals' doors. And, and have them go outside and, and, and watch the fights. Uh, uh, they were betting on the fights. Um, that was, uh, that along, those incidents along with uh, what I mentioned, uh, 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 that incel incident, right, uh, were very stressful because there were times you knew that the next day you were up to go to yard. So you knew you were going to be up a certain time, a certain order. They were going yeah, down the would, theater. Yeah, they would go uh, down a certain order, you know. So yeah. once you got into an incident, uh, um, uh, they would put you on something that's called CTQ, confined to quarters, for 10 days. And uh, once your 10 days are up, okay, now you go go back out to the yard, okay? So 10 days was like vacation in there. Yeah. <laughs> like, I ain't got to worry about, no, we're getting yeah. pulled out. I mean. Yeah, I did mine. I got, I'm going to go do my 10 days, you know, and, <laughs> and get ready for the next, you know? Yeah, I mean, we laugh about but, it. We laugh about it right now, but you probably laughed about it then. Like, this is what it is, right? Yeah, I, and um, it's it's unfortunate. Uh, uh, I guess that's the way uh, uh, that I'm coping with that. Right now, you know, uh, I laugh at it, but it's not a laughing matter, you know, what was going on, because people died, you know. People were dying out there in those yeah. in those, yeah. on those yards, and it, it's basically, they were pulling you out your cell, and they're pulling out an enemy. They knew, all right, this dude don't get along with this dude, so he, it's gotta be on site with these dudes, and they're putting you out to the to the to the whole yard, the oil yard, the the the, the yard that these guys go out, which is basically, uh, you know, you got yeah. fucking four walls, Handball court, and and the most stressful part of that wasn't uh, uh, who you were going to go out there and fight with. Uh, it was it's the the guard uh, the tower that that has the uh, the weapons, the mini fourteen, the high power rifle, or, or um, back then they used to have another one. It was a, a nine millimeter rifle as well, you know. And and uh, I mean you just you just said it was a like a concrete box. And those bullets tend to bounce around like a pin, uh, a pinball, you know. And uh, sometimes uh, you may be the unintended target and get hit by one of those bullets that's ricocheting all around that uh, concrete box, you know. And that did happen. Um, and then they had, uh, I remember they used to use these other uh, bullets uh, that when they hit the concrete, they would shatter and some of the shrapnel uh would uh hit targets as well you know uh, that that was probably what I, uh what uh what was more stressful for me like damn am i gonna get shot you know am i gonna die today yeah 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 uh, um and, uh that was going on and because i was there when that was happening after i got sent to uh return to pelican bay on that validation uh, I got, uh, there was um, an investigation going on. The feds got involved in that, and, and they were investigating uh, those, the cockfights in uh, Corcoran. And I actually got uh, a visit from the feds over there while I was in the shoe in Pelican Bay. Uh, How was that? Uh, so the, uh, they, racked my, they racked my door, my cell door in Pelican Bay. You got a visit, you know, and, and it was during the, week, the weekday. Uh, there's no family visits uh, during the weekday, and I'm like, who is it? You know, and they're like, they didn't want to tell me. So I went to see uh, who it was, and when I got there, uh, um, it wasn't even the visiting room; it was some uh, some other room off inside the uh, uh, the uh, facility, and uh, and they identified themselves. You know, that uh, they're federal agents. Uh, and they told me why they were there, and they, they were uh, doing a, conducting an investigation uh, onto those uh, incidents in Corcoran and. And, you know, they knew I was there uh, in Corcoran, and they knew I had experienced uh, those uh, those fights. Uh, 
But you know there was a code uh, amongst uh, the convicts. You know, like you don't you don't say anything. You know, and when they asked for my assistance to uh, provide them with information about what I saw, what I experienced, I declined. And I said, no, I, I, I'm not going to do that. You know, and and uh, and I got escorted back to my cell. You know, uh, I I I just uh, because because of the um, the code that I told myself I was going to be living by, uh, I, I couldn't bring myself to to even tell on, uh, on on police officers what they were doing, you know, because it was a criminal investigation, you know, and and I I didn't do it. Even though they're telling on us left and right, yeah, but still yeah. there's rules and there's regulations, and you gotta there's no like how do you say it, bro? Like little loopholes in telling, right? Yeah, yeah <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. You know, there's no dry snitching, there's no snitching, there's no, you know, yeah, obviously, and you're, you were a, a solid young individual, that's what they call them at the time, like, oh, you solid, you solid, I mean, you yeah, know, yeah. and you weren't, you know, I mean, salute to you on that, brother, you know, and so they send you back to your cell? Yeah, uh, I went back to the cell. Uh- <laughs>